Hello everyone. Welcome to Understanding Your Curls Better with me, The Curly Chemist. Now, before we begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Nicole McCarty Miller, but most people call me Nikki. I am a cosmetic chemist and I have been in the cosmetic and personal care industry for the past eight years. I have a bachelor's degree in chemistry and a master's degree in pharmaceutical science. Currently, I work for a large personal care company where I get to develop products for international brands. I also run a few social media pages that focus on cosmetic science and hair care science, where I get to present information in what I like to call bite-sized pieces, which basically means I present it in a way that everyone can understand, even if you're not a scientist. So speaking of hair care science, let's talk about your hair. Hair is made out of a tough protein called keratin. The hair follicle anchors each hair into the skin, and there at that base, the hair bulb forms. Now at the hair bulb, this is where living cells divide and they grow and they form the hair shaft. And that's actually the hair that you can see. There are many factors that influence the type of hair you have, such as your genetics, hair follicle diameter, hair density, hair porosity, chemical bonds, mechanical strength, and hair elasticity. These factors can influence many things about your hair, such as whether you have curly hair, straight hair, or something in between, whether your hair is thick or thin, or even whether your hair is long or short. Let's talk for a minute on some of the factors that influence your hair pattern. For example, have you ever really thought about what makes your hair curly? Well, there are three main parameters that help determine whether your hair is curly or not. One, hair follicle shape. Two, the angle at which the hair follicle tunnels out of the scalp. And three, chemical bonds. The follicle size also helps determine the overall thickness of your hair. There are also tools that people use to better understand their hair type. A popular one right now is using a curl type chart to kind of understand your relative curl pattern. Hair porosity, which describes how well your hair soaks up and retains moisture, is another factor that can actually affect your hair pattern. And it can also affect how you take care of your hair and how you style it. The last concept we're gonna talk about is hair elasticity. It refers to how long a single strand of hair can be stretched before it returns back to its normal state. Now think about an elastic band. You can stretch it and you let it go and it will turn back to its normal state. However, if you stretch it too far and let it go, it may or may not return back to its original state. That's kind of like how your hair works. Hair elasticity can affect your hair in all sorts of ways, such as how manageable it is, how easy it is to style, even how shiny it looks. Having your hair elasticity in the perfect balance will have your hair not only strong, but defined. Now that we've learned just a little bit more about hair, let's dive into this activity. We will be using the principles of Hooke's Law to calculate our own hair elasticity. Hooke's law is the rule that describes the link between how far a spring can extend and how much force that it will take for the spring to return back to its original position. In this activity, participants will use springs to learn more about the physics behind their hair. From straight to wavy to curly hair, participants will gain an understanding of hair elasticity. With that, we end our time together as you begin the activity. I hope you were able to understand just a little bit more about your curls. Thanks for watching, and if you want to learn more, check out my social media pages. See you later!